I am here in Boise visiting my sister because she just moved to Idaho. And also my friend Kesley from high school, one of my besties that I've been Hello. friends with. We've been friends since we were like 15. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, 13. Freshman year of. You hold that. At break at time high in high school, we would split a Snickers bar and Cheetos every single break. And then we would always feel like crap after. We're like, why did we do that? I know. And then we just do it the next day. I know. But we've changed. I know. Look at how dewy we look. <laughs> Gorgeous. We're both wow. pregnant. Both Kesleys do like four weeks um, after me. Yeah. And yeah, we're having after a long trip in California, visiting family and working so much, and a lot of podcast work. Recorded a ton of episodes, um, so that way when I give birth. Because um, I'm due like five, six weeks from now. Um, that way, when I can give birth, I already have these other podcast episodes already recorded, and I can take like a solid couple month break from recording episodes. So I recorded a bunch of episodes while I was in California. Um, so check that out. Check out the podcast if you haven't recently, Ellen Fisher podcast. But now, after that California trip, visiting our other family and Andrew's family, we now came to visit my best friend Hannah. Oh, and it's really, really hot. You want me to help? Really, yeah, really hot you, here. Come like on. 100 degrees. Come on, let's go together. Like you step outside in the sun, and you're just like, oh, it's like a different kind of hot to Hawaii. Like just different. I don't think Hawaii gets this hot. No, Sandy today was like, it's hotter here and the water is way colder. That's so weird. <laughs> That's so cute. Isn't that funny? <laughs> that looks really fun. I don't want to go under that thing. Yeah. Yo. Oh yeah, take off your shoes. You look so cool. Many. I don't doubt it, and I don't want to. Come on, Bubba. Yes, sir. It's okay. Pick it up. All right, all right, buddy. You wanna hold it? How do you do that? So simple. Is it so yummy? So you can just swing. So good. He's happy. Just this sweet from Trish. Go! Go, Bex, where you go, buddy? Grandma. Children are so <laughs> self involved. Oh and she, Come on, y'all. Beautiful. Yeah, this is my favorite spot. Run, 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 go, go, go. Wake up, the world is smiling. Got the sun on my side today. Nothing can stop me shining Feeling lucky in a big way Soaking up every moment Throw a cherry on your Sunday. Hands in the sky wide open Yeah, I just want to celebrate Life is better on the bright side I got a pocket full of sunshine Always bright. Yeah. Okay, are we getting the in? Oceans a little deeper. You can see 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. True. I'm good, Danny. Oh, me? Okay, I, I won't get it, though. Mom, you want a bite? <laughs> Isn't that so good? Yeah, here, oh my perfect. Mm. Can I have a bite? You said like passion first. I'll come and give Grandma a bite. Yeah. Oh, Thank that's so are. nice, Wiley. So nice of you, Corvax. <laughs> So beautiful today. We've been visiting our sister in Idaho for the last week. She recently moved here and so the whole family's been here. We've been having such a wonderful time um, swimming in the river. It's been so cold in that river. I'm not accustomed to water that cold um, but because it's so hot it's been really really nice and the sun stays out until 10 p.m. at this time of year. So that is quite an adjustment for us, but we could literally just stay out so late in the day at the river and it's so hot and the kids are having so much fun. This whole last week we went hiking with my closest friends who were also visiting from, they were visiting from California um, because Kesley had her baby shower and so we all got to spend a few days together which was super nice and we went on this beautiful hike which was such a good workout for me because the uphill walks like in nature in the sun just feels so good for me while I'm pregnant to walk uphill especially if it's on soft ground. Living in Hawaii there's a couple spots that I love to walk uphill hill on like sand and this hike was just perfect and super hot totally kicked my butt and it was so fun um, what else did we do we've been going to these different parts of the river where we just dip in the cold water and then the river is flowing so hard that you can just get in at one spot and it'll flow you down later and I think tomorrow Pretty sure tomorrow we're gonna go in this thing called the river float where you can float down the river for like multiple hours so the kids are really excited about that and Andrew and the boys went whitewater rafting and they've just been having so much fun um, I'm gonna be really sad to leave my sister in a couple of days and before coming to Idaho we spent the last four weeks in California visiting the rest of our family where all of our family lives in one area, so it's super convenient and easy to visit them. But now that my sister lives here, we're gonna be coming here more often. And I'm so happy she is happy and that she moved to such a beautiful place that is filled with nature. Um, and also that we have another like really close friend of ours who lives here, so it's been a really great transition for her. Um, but in California, I was working so much the first couple weeks that we got there because I was recording a bunch of podcast episodes while I was there. It was really great to get a bunch of recordings under my belt so that way when I give birth in like, gosh, I'm due in like five weeks. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, five. Yeah, I'm doing like five or six weeks. And that way when I give birth, I'll have these podcast episodes already recorded to space out and then I won't, I'll be able to take like a proper maternity leave where I can just spend time with the family and not record a bunch of things, not work so much. Um, and I filmed some amazing episodes with incredible guests that I cannot wait to share with you guys, including Alicia Silverstone and Rich Roll, and um, this wonderful woman, Destiny Bennett, about intentional parenting and intentional relationships, and a lot more that I just cannot wait to share with you. Um, and then after I recorded like seven days in a row, which was a lot for me to record, normally I'm like spacing it out because I have podcast guests coming to visit us and then we record like one episode once a week or once every two weeks um but doing so many in a row like i was just working so much and then after that i had an episode that i flew to a different part of california for one day to record an opposing views episode and if you haven't seen it yet go check it out um it is incredible and this was like a pro-life versus pro-choice debate opposing views and I'll put the link to my podcast down below that you can check it out and it was such an incredible conversation and people are loving the episode and as soon as I finished recording that I put in the time to like get that all edited and 
put that up on my channel. My podcast is the Ellen Fisher podcast, by the way, if you don't know, so please go check it out. Um, I'll put the link below for you. It's on a separate YouTube channel, or you can listen to anywhere where you listen to podcasts like Spotify or Apple. But after I did all that, then I took a little break with the family, with the kids, and I just hung out with them and family. We swam at the community pool at, you know, their grandma and papa's community pool, spent time with the grandparents, and now we're here. We've been having a really great time, and I'm excited for these next couple of days to see what we're gonna do. Oh, it's so nice. Look down there. I watch. <gasps> he should. He lets you pet him. Or she. Whoa! Oh, the kitty loves you. What's the kitty's name again? I don't know. I forget. Last time they told me, but I forget. But he's petting you. He's petting you. He's petting you. Pet him for a really long time. This is my friend Kesley's house. They bought a total mid-century home, but it was a major fixer-upper. And they had a vision. And they had just made it so beautiful. The house had these like beams in it. You should have seen what it looked like before, but they were just like really cool. I love that they get to see their kids in the backyard from their own bedroom. It's so cool. The big windows are so pretty. But they've kept the like original mid-century features of the house. She's just so funky. You gotta see this bathroom. Dun -dun -dun. Right. Today was at least the area that we crossed over. It was, yeah, yeah. It was flowing, but it wasn't like swift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my jam. This is so bad. This cantaloupe is amazing. Is it? Oh, so good. Get him, go back. They're harder to catch than the wild A place to get free books. Yeah, and then you return a book. Take a book, return yeah, a book. Yeah, we have one of those at our park. And no. Yeah. I've gotten ah. so. Oh, there's the ducky. so dreamy. I know. Jumsy and I say this little part reminds us of Hawaii because it's like sandy. <laughs> There's sand. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, beautiful.
made her nest right here. Isn't that amazing? Oh, okay. so cute. And so small. Oh, my God. I know. There was four of them. They were even bluer though, you guys. Oh, 
Wait, where'd he go? Kopax? Where are you? Hello. Kopax. Where did he go? Kopax? I think he went by there. Kopax? Kopax. Oh! Where'd he go? Oh, oh my goodness, Kofi. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay,